Okay, we'll call these uh, our little uh, patio chats. And our first one, and I've got some notes here to make sure that I don't go over. We want to have these things for about three to five minutes. Okay, and so what we want to do is let's let's follow up on that uh, on that free invitation, that cancer proof in the human body. Okay, and uh, there are seven things. Remember, right? That normally you don't know about cancer, right? But really, what we want to leave people with, right, is we want to learn and teach everybody how to live younger longer and do it more easily right? and then we'll follow up with um, uh, something about the telomerase and telomeres and see how science has uh, uh, discovered how to reverse aging by 9.8 years and, and uh, it's pretty good indication because they can watch the skin get soft and smooth you know, well anyway all right let's go on with these seven things number one cancer is not inherited it's not inherited the theory was great. It was so good we were going to be able to blame it on our grandfather and our grandmother, our mother and our daddy. But it, yeah, there ain't no oncogene, people. That's a cancer gene. There isn't one. Number two, chemotherapy fails 98% of the time. Now that's according to the Oncology Journal in the United States. No wonder cancer doctors don't want it to be used on them. Right? They've admitted it in, in polls, Dartmouth University, uh, among others. Okay. Third thing is... Medical radiation is thousands of times as strong as, or as deleterious as that that uh, plant, you know, that nuclear plant in Japan that's on television all the time. It's a heck of a lot more, in, or in a uh, in a tooth X-ray, for example, a lot more. So at any rate, okay. Now remember when you start talking about cancer surgery, surgery is localized. Cancer is systemic. What does that mean? Well, let's suppose you have uh, uh, breast cancer, right, and have it operated on, and it's gone. What about the rest of the body? Cancer is systemic. Right? We'll discuss that a little bit more later. It's throughout the whole body. You can't operate on the whole body. You're going to have to do something. We're going to show you what science says right, to do for the entire body. Okay. Right. Remember, though, that cancer cannot be cured. It cannot be cured. But science can equip the body right, to kill cancer cells on a daily and continuous basis. On a daily and continuous basis. All you got to do is give the body back what it was created with. Now, what about, uh, we're going to back everything that we tell you on these little uh, chats all right, with science and Anybody, you can bring anybody along. If they can disprove the science, we have a $10,000 warranty fund. They can dip into that fund and have all of it they want. To. All, all they got to do is disprove the science. Now, then we're going to talk about uh, where you can go all right, to get some, uh, some of this stuff. Not all of it, of course. Okay, Free all right, to help you out, help your body out, give back what it needs. Okay, uh, but first thing let's do. All right, I want to tell you about, I said we were going to talk about the single primary cause of all cancer, all right, which is a lack of oxygen all right, at the cellular level. All right now, there are 100 trillion cells in the human body. Let's say this represents one cell, 100 trillion cells in the human body. Now, what you have to do is you have to make sure that the mitochondria, in each one of those cells, there are about 500 to 700 little engines, and they're called mitochondria. And if you keep them oxygenated, but what you're going to learn later, right, it is impossible for cancer to ever occur in the cell. Right? Now, what happens, though, is when we start giving, the, we start driving oxygen out of the cells. Okay? And let's say this cell, how do you drive oxygen out of the cell? Okay, let's say uh, I have a uh, granola bar, all right? There's a granola bar, and when they got into the bottom of that cell, it drove oxygen out up here. All right, here is a, uh, a what? Orange juice. Boy, that's a good one. Driving oxygen out of the cell. Uh, what else have we got that drives oxygen out of the cell? Uh, oh, oatmeal. Cereal, grains, right? All of these things are accumulating and they're driving oxygen out of the cell. Now, when you get to the point that you've driven 35% of the oxygen out, that cell is cancerous, right? It can't be cured. 
salary, but it's another eight years before that thing gets off the wall the top. We keep on filling things up, all right, until it gets to the point that there's any diagnostic equipment that is yet made by man that will find that cancer cell. And it's been just keep on growing all this time. Well, it's not the only it's one cell. There are a trillion of them. You think that's the only one that's been filling up and becoming cancer like that? Remember, I told you cancer is systemic. It happens throughout the entire body. And then you come along with what? We have the cancer uh, treatment, radiation. And that just fills that puppy up so fast. You can, no wonder it recur, cancer recurs so rapidly. Huh? What about x rays? That's x rays I was talking about. Mm. That radiation. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's, all right. So, all right. What, what, we'll, what we'll study later. Right. Yes, we'll introduce how to keep that, uh, how to keep those cells oxygenated and make it in cancer, make it impossible for cancer to occur. Uh, and then we'll go into some more onesies. The onesies being, uh, uh, you know, heart disease. There's one underlying, primary underlying cause of all heart disease. It makes what it is. Right, uh, diabetes. Right, one underlying cause. Right, uh, overweight, obesity. Right, one underlying cause. And then carbs. It's something with a fancier name. Right, and then, but here is something that, we, if you will, please remember, because it's something I remember, the great Arnold Palmer, the great golfer. He said, golf is deceptively simple and endlessly complicated. The human body is the same. If you can understand the science, it is deceptively simple. It's so the basics are so simple, but it is endlessly complicated in what it can do, what it can accomplish. And that's what we want to teach everybody. All right. Uh, it's kind of like uh, uh, the cataracts that we were talking about uh, with your puppy the other day. What, it's been about a month and a half now? About that. All right, and uh, poor dog couldn't see. And he's a puppy. All right, they wanted $3,000 or something like that to the vet did to do his cataracts. And I said, well, look, here's what you do for people. And how's the dog now? Oh, he can see and he's happy again. Yeah, all right. And what about the size of him? Now he's bigger than his daddy is. And how old is he? A year and two months. Okay, and what's maturity for them? About uh, two years? About so, a year and a half to two years. Okay, all right, he's already bigger than his daddy. you got to be careful when you give the body what it needs all right, to come for its DNA code. It gets awful strong and awfully healthy. Okay, and the other, oh, and I had uh, one thing. I don't know if I mentioned this to you or not. Remember when I was telling people that uh, certain things make the body get stronger and burn fat without doing any exercise and that I had, I was using this and I uh, gained four pounds but I lost an inch and a half on my waist. I'm getting people calling me and I said, I didn't believe you before. I said, well, I gave you the science before, all right? But everybody, but anyway, it's a lot of fun. Now, all right, so these are things that we will, uh, that we'll begin to cover, all right? This is, we covered, we, we made this thing too long. What do we got? Oh, good gracious. Okay, let's end this one. We'll talk about something else later.